chaotic this morning. This is Sophie. Hi, <laughs> Today is Sunday the 29th of April and as you can see my house is pretty chaotic this morning because there are lots of children around. Six boys stayed the night last night including Adam and six more children have just turned up now. These are all children that I bonded with during my time at Whisper which was the charity that I initially came out to Uganda to volunteer for. Me and a friend decided quite a while back that we'd like to support these children further so that is what we have been doing. Today is the beginning of the Ugandan school holidays, so these children are usually in boarding school but in the holiday time they return to their relatives in the village, so today I will be taking them back. There are a few children I will not be taking back but I will explain a bit more about that later. For now the big boys have been super helpful, they've been helping get all the smaller children ready and now they're all watching a film whilst I finish getting ready myself and then we're going to head on out. Sophie. We're going to Sophie's house first where she's going to go and stay with her grandmother and her grandfather and all her cousins for the holidays. my normal voice so Josh says that my voice is not high enough so I'm trying it again <laughs> we I'm talking we just got to Diana's home and it turns out her grandmother's not even there so we're going to try passing by again later in the hope that she's back but 
If not, it looks like Diana's coming back to our house. Better? our next destination and you're going to tell me more about it what is your name my name is Liz. and how old are you I'm 11 years old. and whose house is this your grandmother and you stay with her in the holidays yes. it's rainy season so the mud is thick and everywhere my shoes were getting ruined so we just stopped off at the trading center and I bought myself some new ones let me know what you think So we're now at Bashir's home, dropping Bashir off. Usually it's really, really hard to find Bashir's mother because she moves every few weeks, but we managed this time. Um, and yeah, she's happy to see him. Uh, this family have always really, really struggled. She's a single mum to four boys, and we are hoping in the future, when maybe there are more funds, that we might be able to help his brothers as well. <laughs> We're now at the home of Babaji and Weisbur, who are twins. And these are some of the children that I said earlier, I'm not sure if they'll be coming back to their place for the holidays. Every holiday now for almost a year and a half, I've been bringing them back to their grandmother's place. Their grandmother is the only relative they have that is willing to look after them. But just because she is willing doesn't really mean she is able. She takes them into the gardens and the swamps all day to work, which is fine. I'm all for children helping but they often do it without eating and whenever I come to pick them up again, they are just so, so sick. They always get better again when they're back at school, but I don't think it's really good for their health to keep deteriorating, improving, deteriorating, improving. Last time we were here, the LC, which is the local chairperson, um, he said not to bring them back anymore. And usually it is the LC that you go to for advice of what to do with children. Uh, we've been registered in the UK as a charity now since last May, but we are still not registered in Uganda. Everything is moving really slowly. If we were, we'd be able to employ a social worker who could also help, but at this time, I just don't really know what to do that's best by them. Um, so yeah, we're here to discuss with the grandmother and I'll let you know what we come up with. Babaji is going to show us where she usually sleeps when she's back. So after discussing with the grandmother, Josh, not me, she doesn't speak English, uh, we've decided that the twins won't be coming back for this holiday and I'm going to be taking them back to near where I live. I rent a room for a couple of other children, so we're thinking about trying to find a slightly larger place that they could stay in as well. It's only temporary, it's only for these holidays, it's three and a half weeks, it's not a perfect solution. We've got plans for the future, which could help, but you know, we need funds for that. But it's something, and at least I know they won't be sick this time.
that you're curious I know that you're strong But life can be furious And things can go wrong You go, you go We're better off tomorrow But who knows, who knows If we get joy or sorrow To the fire in your heart and your soul. Don't trench your desire. Hey. Uncle Jafati! Like You're so cute. Uncle Jafati! Why are you saying Jafati? Dog, okay? Okay. That's being very noisy. Um. Diana's grandmother wasn't there, so we brought Diana back. <coughs> Turns out she's gone to a burial, so she'll be back in the morning. So Josh and Noah will take her back then. Um, I've divided up the remaining children between my place and the place we rent for some of the other children. Uh, obviously not ideal, but it's just for one night. Tomorrow, hopefully that'll get sorted out as well. I'll be at work, but Josh is pretty good at sorting these things out. And I'm just really quite tired. I don't think I've really done that much today. Josh did all the driving, but I'm ready for bed. I'm just gonna put Adam and the others to bed now. And then I think I'm going to have an early night myself. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. We're on our bed. No, we're just saying bye to the camera, ready? Bye camera. <laughs> Say bye everybody. Bye everybody. See you next time. See you next time. I'm going to bed. No, wait a minute, yes. But can you say we love you? We love you. Thanks for driving on me.